This is ADT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. The title of this video clip is Technology Stewarding. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. What is technological stewardship? How does one learn to become a technology steward? What sort of skills does technological stewarding involve? If you recall, Mary, the director of the language school, and Harry, the owner of Bat Depot, both needed to learn how to exploit technologies to improve their businesses. Everyone they consulted with ended up telling them they needed to develop skills with social media, which involved learning how to work with the social aspects of learning. This ideology is far from what Mary and Harry have learned in school, and they feel very insecure. They don't know how to proceed, and they feel as though they are taking too many risks. Mary, who had progressed with her LinkedIn profile, noticed that she had connected with a certain Nadia Anne from Montreal, Quebec. She was an instructional designer who was doing a PhD and who was specialized in the social aspects of learning with technologies. She decides to message Nadia to see if she's available to provide some direction on how to go about this. Nadia gladly replies and after a phone conversation, Mary is really impressed with Nadia's knowledge and competencies. Nadia will work in collaboration with Pierre and Joe to create a community of practice for the language school. She already has a few strategies in place and all she has to do to get started is to prepare a needs assessment. Mary feels safe with Nadia. At the end of the conversation, she asks her a final question. How did you learn all of this? Nadia explains that she did several courses in her graduate degree. One of these courses was a social computing course in which she learned how to become a tech steward. Here's how the course worked. The objective of the course was as follows. To provide students with opportunities to enhance their computing skills and their understanding of educational theory, students were to develop the competency of what is called technological stewardship, that is, offering to help online communities facing problems that require concrete technological solutions. To develop their technological stewardship, students had the choice of participating in an online community of practice or in engaging in what is called legitimate peripheral participation, which means to simply lurk within an online community of practice and observe the domain, the community, and its practice. During the first week of the course, students were encouraged to join online communities with which they shared similar interests, not necessarily in education. Students were required to keep detailed notes with respect to what was happening in those online communities for at least six weeks. These written traces gave the students a substantial amount of information to begin understanding and designing solutions to various problems. However, technological stewardship requires that solutions not be proposed from the outside in. This meant that students had to design solutions in collaboration with the community. In order not to be seen as an expert, students did not present themselves as tech stewards. Instead, they presented themselves as members of the community who were inquiring into collaborative design solutions. Based on problem-solving approaches to education, students were asked to write a mid-session analytical reflective report of their activities inside the online community of practice. Students demonstrated insight about how problems could be solved from within the community. In addition, students offered recommendations for others who might wish to become tech stewards in similar communities. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. What does one have to do to become a technology steward? Why would someone need to hire a technology steward? And what is different about technological stewarding? Contrast the term with IT expert.